Hi, Cancer. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. So thank you very much for the likes and comments and the subscribes. I'm having so much fun with you guys on these videos. And thank you for all the personal uh, readings that were booked. Um, I, like I said, I'm so enjoying, uh, enjoying this. And if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. Um, it will take you to my website with the different options. So I have some email reading options as well as one, two, or three topic readings. Uh, you can also find me on Instant Go, which is so much fun. It's a really fast way to get a quick answer to a question that you have through a text message. So the link for Instant Go is below. Um, or if you're interested in energy therapy, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance therapy. So it doesn't matter where in the world you live, um, it's still just as powerful. So the link for my website um, for that is below as well. And you can also donate to the channel. Thank you for the donations. Um, uh, it takes a lot of energy to do these videos, so every little bit helps, and I'm just so grateful. Uh, I think that's it for Shop Talk, so let's get into your reading. This is going to be uh, your reading for April 16th through the 30th. And uh, we have the, the new moon in Aries on April 15th, so you'll still be feeling those energies for several days after that. We're building to the full moon, which will be in Scorpio um, on April 29th. And finally, Mercury is going direct, so any mishaps with communication and all of that is, is going to clear up. We'll be in the, the post-shadow phase for like a couple more weeks. Um, and then we have Saturn going retrograde on April 17th, which, you know, is the planet of karma. And then we have Pluto going retrograde on April 22nd. So there's still going to be a lot going on, but I think for you guys, the last reading was pretty good. You had a really beautiful, solid love come in. So I'm curious how that turned out for you. Has it worked out? Are you still with it? Have issues come up? So what does Cancer need to know April 16th or April 30th? All right, so we are starting with the Three of Wands. Okay, which is you kind of looking at your options. This is also a card of travel, so maybe you have some traveling coming up. Um, but the Three of Wands is like trying to decide which way you want to go, I feel like, with a passion and with a desire. So maybe that love wasn't everything that you thought it would be, or maybe you're questioning the direction you want to go, that you want to go with it. Um, but Threes... Threes are usually the start of something pretty solid. So maybe you're just examining your emotions and your feelings and your passion around, around this relationship. Um, if you're not in a relationship, you are single, maybe this is you examining options with work and business and a direction to go in um, with that. Okay. The next card we have is the Three of Swords. So again, if this does have to do with the relationship that showed up in the past reading, maybe it has really brought up some past hurt for you. Because the, the Three of Swords is wounds and pain from a very, very long time ago. Could even be from past life, which I do remember that that love was, was pretty deep. And I remember you had the, the Six of Cups, which can be you know, like someone coming back from the past. So past relationship, not necessarily in this lifetime. So what, what pain has come up for you? Because you really need to deal with this in order to move forward. But the one thing to note with this card is, yes, you know, there's three swords through the heart, but there's no, I don't want to say it, but there's no blood. So this is not recent pain. You know, these swords have been there for a very, very long time. And usually when we do fall in love or get into a new relationship, that's exactly the thing that pulls this type of stuff to the surface so that it can be cleared and worked through. 
Because we also have the Five of Cups, which is you feeling like you're not getting everything that you need or that there's something lacking. You know, he's really focused on these three cups, but the this card for me is all about perspective because if he were to lift his head and turn around, he would see these perfect cups right behind him. He also would see this, you know, beautiful horizon. So I think if you're really focused on your past pains and hurts and focused on what's what's missing and what's not there, you won't be able to really move forward peacefully. So you're going to have to really change change your perspective, which, I mean, that might be why you're hanging out here. You're not sure which way to go because you have like this pain and you have this part of you that feels like something is missing. But I'm really curious what, what else does Cancer need to know for April 16th through the 30th? You know, with Saturn retrograde on the 17th, that is the planet of karma. So you may be releasing some karmic patterns and emotions from the past, which would be a really positive thing. Like it won't feel good going through it, but it needs to happen. What does Cancer need to know April 16th through... All right. Okay. So if you can work through the pain from past hurt and change your perspective, Queen of Swords, so you may have someone new coming into your life. It could be an air sign, okay, if you're not in a relationship or anything from the past. Um, you could have an air sign coming in. Or Cancer, this could be you getting really clear from a logical like point of view okay but i don't know i kind of feel like this is actually somebody somebody coming into your life so they're going to be solid and logical and not so emotional which might be good for you i think that's a good balance for you because cancer you guys are, are deeply emotional um, and your feelings run very very deep and they mean so much to you so having an air sign that's a little less Emotional sometimes can be a really good balance for you, okay? But whatever this air sign coming in, they're going to have some news for you, okay? So there's going to be some messages coming in that are going to be pretty significant. But I feel like they're positive messages. I don't feel any anything negative around this. It may be messages on like where they want to go in the relationship that might help you choose a direction more easily of where you want to move to because the next card is like the hierophant card which is the marriage card it's um it's like a traditional relationship okay but the the hierophant is very much guided by above it's a very spiritual card okay so whoever this air sign is coming in, I think they're going to be quite serious about you. And again, maybe this is the love from like the past reading um, showing up for you, bringing in information and helping you move forward, helping you make a decision. Okay, so that's all really, really positive. What else does Cancer need to know? Ooh, several cards. Okay, we're going to take the top three. All right. That makes sense. So this Queen of Swords coming in, again, this can be male or female. They're going to be logical, and they're going to come in with a pretty, pretty clear message of what they want. And I think it's going to be that they want, like, marriage or something traditional. Um, because the next card we have is the six of cups which this came out in your last reading so I really do feel that this is linked with some of the, the messages that came through before with you guys that you guys have been working with so again this is like the soulmate card this is a childlike love deeply you know deeply connected and can feel like you've known this person for lifetimes 
And the bond can be so strong that, you know, you, you may feel like you want to marry them and that that is the direction that you want to go in, which I love that because we've also got the Ace of Wands. So there's going to be so much passion. Once you can let go of, once you can let go of the pain and really work through this, sorry, and stop focusing on what's missing and really see what's right in front of you. Um, you're going to be able to really see what this person is offering you. They're offering you like a solid offering of love. So you've got, I feel like this, this, these two go together. So this soulmate that you're dealing with, it could be an air sign and they're going to be solid in who they are and logical and, you know, not unclear at all, which is really good because Cancer, because your emotions sometimes can be so up and down, it's really good to have a partner that is so solid that you, that, you know, kind of allows you to have your emotions go that way because they're solid and not so emotional. Um, but there's going to be a lot of passion and you guys may even decide to, you know, move forward in a totally different direction together, create a new life together, which is beautiful. But then we've got the Seven of Swords. So I just, again, want you to be careful with where you're putting your attention. Are you focusing on the negative or what's going wrong? Okay. Because if, if you're focused and your negative thoughts sabotage this relationship, it's going to keep you here. Okay. Okay going to keep you here. If you just look at the energy around these cards, they're very much about lack and pain and almost like victim. You know, like this card to me feels like you almost feel like you have to be sneaky and you can't show all aspects of yourself to this partner. So you're going to have to let that go. You don't have to be sneaky. You don't have to hide any parts of you. You know, this kind of love wants every aspect of you. They want the good and the bad and the ups and the downs and the hot and the cold and the all of it, okay? So let this go. Don't get caught up here, okay? But all in all, I think this is a good reading. I think this relationship is really going to help you grow and mature and also let go of some past hurts that maybe you have brought into other relationships, and, you know, leave this behind at the full moon in Scorpio. So this, I like that this was the last card because it's like, you can just leave this and let the moon take this away. Okay. The doubting yourself and having to be sneaky with your feelings and, and parts of yourself. You don't have to be that way. Okay. Because remember, this person wants all of you, all of you, every bit. Okay. So let me pull one more card for you guys. One more card for Cancer, April 16th through the 30th. Okay. New love. Which makes total sense because once you can let go of this sort of pain, love is going to feel new. It's going to feel like a new love that you have not experienced before. Okay, because you're not going to have the pain in the way blocking you. You're actually going to be able to embrace all this passionate, emotional connection that you have. Okay, with this new love that I feel like is um, an air sign. So either Gemini, Libra, um, or Aquarius. Okay, but let the love flow. You know, trust the process. Don't, don't get caught up in your head and in your thoughts, okay? So you have to let me know, Cancer, how, how that resonated with you. And if it didn't, then watch your moon sign and your rising sign. Um, never try to force to fit a reading into your life. You either feel it or you don't, and that's okay. Um, again, if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It will take you to my website so you can book. And I will be excited to see what happens for you in May. All right, Cancer. Bye.